Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was. It was a lovely birthday party. It was really, really nice. We thoroughly enjoyed it. It's just nice to be a part of it and see their eyes light up when the bugaloos come in the front door, you know? Yeah. That's where all the money went. Marty always had parties. Barbecues. I can remember going to one of his barbecues. Yeah. Do you remember that, John? Yeah. Do you know, do you know that when Marty was living in all those mansions, I was living in Hollywood in the old Rudolph Valentino estate in the coach house and I was paying $75 a month. I lived there in, wow. until 1972. <laughs> I could hear from my, I had a little back porch I could hear the uh, Hollywood Bowl, but I couldn't see it. And the Beatles in 1965, I guess, they came and did their first concert at the Hollywood Bowl. And I invited a whole bunch of people and we sat on this little porch. We couldn't see the Beatles. We could just hear them. We never heard them because the little, the little girl screaming. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we heard. You know? um, Lovely. That, you know, that was the end of that. My <laughs> Betty was one of those girls screaming her head off. Yeah. <laughs> you also know when we did uh, Puffin stuff, the Beatles ordered after each episode was done, they ordered, they wanted a copy of it because they were locked up in their hotel room. And they oh, loved, oh, you know, yeah, because yeah. of Jack Wilde, and mm -hmm. they loved Puff and stuff, because it was so trippy, and you know, and who knows what they were doing <laughs> drug-wise in, the, in their hotel room, yeah. Well, Sid, while you're talking about uh, being trippy and everything, you've, you've always had such a wonderful, wonderful imagination, Thank and being you. able to put it together with Marty to make it, to bring it to life. So mm -hmm. I just want to say thank you from all of us bugs on all of our behalf to say thank you so much for letting mm -hmm. us be part of your dream and making it all come true. We really appreciate that. We were so lucky that you chose us. And I thank you very, very much as I'm sure we all do. The boys as well, eh, John? Well, thank I, you. I, yes, I, I, yes, seriously, it was such a pleasure to meet you. Well, yeah, you're such you. a, a very calm and very, very nice guy. And we, we always felt really good in your company. Yes. And obviously with Marty, he's a little bit different character, <laughs> but you did take care of us. You the took care man. of us very well. And we had a, a, a fantastic time. And we didn't go short of anything, you know. You, we had everything we needed on and off screen. So, you know, I think it was almost like being part of your family. And, uh, yeah. and it's just nice now that we, we get to talk. Well, so, you're still part of But do you remember the audition? Of course Do you remember I the audition? Of course I did. <laughs> you know, so we're all set in I, used go to go, I used to go in the street because it was in February and it was cold as hell in London. And I'd go in the street with hot chocolate, you know, and give people standing in line because there were 4,000 people auditioning. Yeah, yeah. It was amazing. And Marty was staying at the Dorchester in a big suite and I stayed with Lionel Bart. I had a little bedroom, you know, uh, because That's Lionel. Cozy, Bart, isn't it? Oh, yeah, <laughs> because Lionel Bart was a great friend of mine. Because I was in a show in London for about eight months, um, and it was in Piccadilly. It was called Pink Champagne, and uh, and I was in that show. And that's where I met Lionel Bart. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I remember the Dorchester very well, where I came uh, back to the Dorchester with you guys, and we had dinner. Lionel Bart was at the table. 
and we was chatting away and and then you said that um you know we'd like you to stay overnight which i did and i said but i haven't come prepared and i want to thank you from the bottom but of my heart pajamas. for giving me some fair clothes <laughs> <laughs> no way. Oh my God. How yeah. fabulous. And I, I think gotta, I've still got those boxes. <laughs> I have to tell you an English story. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. You, you'll get a big <laughs> kick out of this. I, I've never, well, I've told this a few times, but not too many people have heard it. I'm in, um, I'm in this show in London. It's 1954. I was booked in for four weeks and the show was called Pink Champagne. And my act was such a big success that they asked me to stay for the whole run of the show. Where was it on, Sid? It was on Piccad in Piccadilly. It was, the show was called Pink Champagne. I, and when, and I was it in a theatre? Uh, no, it was a club. The right. Café de was Paris. It was, it was like the Lido. It was. Uh, Paris. It wasn't Le Poupe de Paris. No, that was my act. You know, that's before I toured with Judy Garland with my act. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So anyway, because I toured the whole world with my act, uh, and I just came from from Paris. I played the Lido for a year, and I was in the Folie Bergère and. Whatever. Okay, so I'm in the show in London, and once a year, the Queen on Sunday night would have the night of a hundred stars, and it was for her charity. And I was not asked, and uh, you know, to be one of the the performers. You only got to do two minutes because it was a hundred performers. Okay, so it's Sunday, and about three o'clock in the afternoon, I get a call from the producer, and he said, somebody fell out. Would, would you uh, appear tonight at the Palladium? That's where this event was. And, uh, and I said, of course, oh my God, yes. And I did my number, it was two minutes long. And after the, the concert or whatever you want to call it, the queen came backstage and we all lined up. And, and we all lined up backstage. Uh, and the lady in waiting was behind the queen. And she got, as the queen talked to each performer, the lady in waiting uh, would tell her who everybody was and what to say, right? Mm -hmm. she, gets, she gets to me and she said, <laughs> she said to me, oh, what cute little dolly. Well, <laughs> I almost gave her the finger because, <laughs> because when I was 10 years old, Oh. <laughs> and I, I, I wanted my first puppet. You know, hey, Joy, when you talk, I go off. Did you know that? If you talk to someone, I go off. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> chatting with Jay. I won't touch it. Okay, so anyway. So anyway, I'm 10 years old. I wanted my first puppet, which I saw in a comic book, a Superman comic book. It was $3.95 for this puppet. And I went to my dad and I said, can I get it? And he was furious with me. He said, $3.95 would feed your family for weeks and 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 he said and you are a boy and you want a dolly, <laughs> a dolly? <laughs> so when the queen and that, that always was in my mind that when the queen said dolly i swear i almost <laughs> <hit> the <finger. laughs> so 
Vanderbilt. I'd probably still be in chains in the tower, right? <laughs> Did so, you cut me? <laughs> Did I what? Did, Did I you cut me? No, no. It, we were told not to say anything back to her. Right. And just to hear what she had to say and and smile a lot. And that's nice. that's what we were told. But I I I was right behind the right in front of the queen. Your queen. She's still your queen. Yeah. So did you get did you get a pardon then after all? <laughs> did you get a royal pardon? <laughs> I didn't get to my hood either. <laughs> I have an African gray up there and he just laughed. He went, ha, 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 ha. when you said that, little John. <laughs> you hear him? You can hear him. <laughs> well, <laughs> you have to what I would suggest to you, Sid, is that um, if she offers to knight you, don't, because that sword is pretty sharp. No. And what goes around <laughs> comes around. Uh, that's right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. This is so, Daria, Daria, yes, do you have any questions to ask anybody, Sid or John or myself or anybody? Um, Elizabeth had some questions, I believe. Mm. I don't right. know. Heck was it? Um, <laughs> Hello, Elizabeth. Hello. Hi. This is Sparky. <laughs> Oh, oh wow! I, I have one of those. You did? Yes, I, I've still we all got, got one. one of those. Oh, wow! I can't oh, did I go get? Right, right there. Hi, Sandy. Wow! You got one of hey. <laughs> oh, you know. Oh, Caroline. Sparky. <laughs> there we go. And who's this? Blonde oh, hair. Joy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> she's, looking a bit, she's looking a bit tired at the moment. <laughs> oh. So that's an original one? No, this was made, uh, was it by, by Sandy. was it by you, Sandy? No, I made, I made one I made. Yeah, somebody, one of the one of the fans made it and uh, and <laughs> sent it, but it wasn't one of the originals. Um, this was, mm -hmm. this was, yeah, yeah, Sparky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. mine. Yep. <laughs> we were all very curious as kids that we oh, didn't Bill. get. Oh, And he came. He came in three <laughs> sizes. <laughs> three sizes. I did have a real quick <laughs> question for you. Is there any news of Funko doing the four members of the band for the Bugaloos? Yes, please. Please, please. Because we I love Funko Pop. Yes. They should. I don't know. That's Marty's department. And, you know, uh, he does all the merchandising. So I have nothing to do with that. But, you no. know, our star on Hollywood is mm -hmm. right in front of the entrance to Funko. That's right. And, yeah. And like I said, there were 900 people that showed up. There were over 100 people that slept in the street mm -hmm. the night before. And I was I, not one of them. <laughs> oh, were you there? Were you there? I, I was there. Uh, yes. I was there. Bill was there. Mm -hmm. for me that right. day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, did like you... My, did you come? Ed, were you? Did you come back to that, to the green room? No, no, no. I was outside. Oh, I wish oh, I were home. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> no, I just waited outside. But you, you were so kind, and you signed my lunch kit, and we chatted. Remember, we were talking about your hip surgery. <laughs> and <laughs> well, yeah, you know. Yeah. Like, like, and I'm so glad you were doing so well. You look fantastic. So. Well, right now, I got to tell you, I should have done it years ago. Mm -hmm. I can run. My balance is back. No, that was something that was a nightmare for so many years. Yeah. I walk and, yeah. No. Mm -hmm. it, uh, you know, it's rough. No, you were such an, and I want, that's why I wanted to thank you. You were such an inspiration for my sister. 
because she just had her six weeks ago. And oh. I told her, wow, Sid is just walking around. He looks fantastic. And she said, oh, if he can do it, maybe I can do it too. <laughs> so no. she's great. Now she's, she doesn't even really need the cane anymore. So. No, I walk two miles every day. And, and ah. when you know, around my house, there are deserted streets. And, uh, and when I go downhill, I run. I can wow. run. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Now you're and, in a to all of us. <laughs> it's amazing. Fantastic. Fantastic. This has been, you know, for me, honestly, this has been so exciting because it, it's, it brings back so many incredible memories for me. And I really thank you for doing this today because this is entirely our pleasure. <laughs> well, you know, that was my my second show and after puffing stuff to come up with an idea, you know, that was totally different and puffing stuff we were so lucky that everything fell into place with that show and you know and it was such a huge huge hit and then the Bugaloos, and then mm -hmm. after that, Lidsville, and then Sigmund, and, and then, which I'm going to talk about tomorrow on Instagram, uh, Land of the Lost, you know. <laughs> but people don't realize, you know, how hard it was to, to come up with an idea that made any sense, you know. <laughs> Because you so what come, did, where did, sorry to interrupt, where did you get the idea from the Bugaloos from? Totally from tranquility. You know, I always, I was told you I lived in that little house. I never had a house. Marty was living on, in big mansions. He built a house. He had a, 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 a ranch. He, you know, he was spending all the money that we were making. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and Marty, when I brought Marty out here uh, to assist me in my act, he, he wasn't part of the act. He just handed me the puppets off stage. You know, he was a car salesman. He, he was a huge car and the salesman. Trust the car salesman. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else. We didn't grow up together because... He was eight years younger than me. Oh and when God. I was 15, what does that make him? Like, uh, you know, I was 15, eight years younger. I'm the worst mathematician. Nine. He was <laughs> 20 years old. That's when I toured with the Ringling Brothers Circus. And it for two years, years. At, you know, in the sideshow is the world's youngest puppeteer. So Marty's seven years old. So Marty, you know, I never really knew him because after the circus, then I toured all over, you know, as a young kid. I've been in this show business for 81 years. You know? Wow. So where do I get my ideas from? From life, you know, from a, all my experiences traveling all over the world you know and <laughs> and the bugaloos in living in that little house tiny tiny little house 75 dollars a month what do you think even in those days what do you get for 75 bucks right and right so it was my dream always to have a house that with gardens and a house that opened up, you didn't know if you were in or out, you know, and, mm -hmm. and I wanted to live in tranquility my whole life, you know. Because well, you know what I call my house here? I live in the countryside with my horses and it's, it's paradise here. And you know what I call my house, but in Spanish, tranquility house. Because I've got, I've got no neighbors, I can see no neighbors, 
So the name is just, I just always think of Tranquility oh, Forest. Yeah. And okay, there isn't a forest here, <laughs> but it's just so peaceful. It's lovely. And I call it Can Tranquil, which is like mm, Mallorquin, or the Spanish, mm. but the dialect of, of Mallorquin, for the house of tran tranquility. Oh, oh, no. Well, you, really? you, you know what? We we both got our wishes, didn't we? You know, that's yes. what I always wished for. And I found this house. I have four and a half acres. I paid ninety six thousand dollars for it. And uh, and we rebuilt the whole thing. But me and my friends did it. We built all the furniture. I never spent, you know, money like my brother constantly spends, but God bless him, you know, he's happy. Well, I don't know how happy he is, but he, you know, you know Marty. Marty is total opposite of the way I think and the way I live. And we don't hang out together, you know, we never have. And so it's just a business thing, and uh, <laughs> and it's still going on, you know. So it obviously works. Works very well, Sid. Yeah. No, it, it was perfect. I would get a dream, and he would make it happen. Yeah. You know. Exactly. So, Fantastic. Fantastic. Hey, can I can I just please come to me? Hello. Yeah. John. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Sid. Um, uh, you, you mentioned that you know, today means quite a lot to you. It's good to get, you know, to reunion, to see, you know, the family that you once had, and we've all sort of shifted away. But I think we really ought to thank Daria. Really, she's done a lot of yeah. work putting this all together. Mm. So I think it's her you should be thanking. That's right. And, thank you. Yeah, and Bill, Bill, I see him flashing up from time to time, and you know, it's so good to see your faces. And Daria. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you're lovely. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you so I'll get my sunglasses. I said, oh my God, I look terrible. <laughs> no, thank everybody for this. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you thank dear. you. Thank you so much. Well, well I, I have to quickly say, I didn't think I was going to make it this far. I almost dropped it twice in the last two years. So <laughs> I was like, I'm here and I made it. And I'm so glad to see all of your beautiful faces. <laughs> you know, it's like that. I, 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 survived, I survived, and I said, "I guess this is mine." <laughs> well, you're a wonderful person. We we thank you very much yes. for everything you're yeah. doing, keeping the dream alive. Yeah. And this is tranquility, <laughs> keeping I'm, tranquility alive. It's fantastic. I'm really like, is. So I'm thank you very gardener, much. And I think of all of you when I'm out in my garden too. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry that Big John is near. Yeah. You know, I don't know what happened. And even Wayne. Please send know Wayne. You know all our love and please do that. You know. Yeah. We miss I him. Say he sends a special message. Um, yeah. It's very short. He just said to everyone. Thank you for making the show. We made it for, oh, well, the fans asked him, not so much for you, you. <laughs> but he says, thank you for making the show. We made it for you guys. And then he said, and without you, there would be no show. Oh. That's so sweet of him. No. <laughs> It's like, so, and I, yeah, I, I feel like I'm a member of the band. I've had such happy times um, listening to Corrine's stories and this, watching. Now I've joined because it was Elizabeth that started me off. She'd mm -hmm. send these amazing drawings. And oh. <laughs> I saw them on the Facebook page and I thought, who is this person? And I didn't think that after so many years there'd be a fan club. Let alone, there are, what, two or three of them now? Mm. And, yes. weird. and she kept sending these, these drawings for, for Wayne. And mm -hmm. I said to Wayne in the end, I said, Wayne, you have to answer Elizabeth because she's sending all these beautiful pictures. And Head went down and he said, you do it for me, please. So I got in touch with Elizabeth. And so we've been, I've been watching what goes on and she introduced me to Daria and to, and then Bill. Mm -hmm. and, 
Um, and then they invited me to join the fan club. So I was an honorary bugaloo. Um, yeah. And it was been wonderful to watch how everybody was stuck together. And what an amazing um, time and part of people's lives you became. Yes. I've got to tell you something. I'd like to jump in. I want to tell you something. All these years, of course, I, I meet people constantly, you know, and I get a ton of fan mail after 50 years. It's been, mm -hmm. it, it premiered 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. We only did 17 shows. We only did 17 Puffin Stuffs. You know, all those shows only did one season, but they're still playing and people come up to me, they sing the song, <laughs> they know all the words, fly free as the summer breeze, you know, we're flying high. And they know the characters and they yeah. know every one of your names, you know? <laughs> and who you play. I mean, it's a cult, a yeah. huge, <laughs> it's huge fantastic. Cult. It's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I, know, I, still get, Sid, Sid, I, I still get fan mail, quite amazing, uh, how many letters I still mm -hmm. get and everything. But I just want to say, uh, we never realized at the time, but we changed lives of so many of what they were then, children, they write letters and they tell me that if it hadn't been for the Bugaloos, their lives were, were down, were depressing or whatever. They had problems, mm -hmm. family problems. Mm -hmm. But we used to bring their lives back to them and it was only because of the Bugaloos that they were able to carry on. And that really, really means something. We don't realize what such a fantastic, important impression we have on people's lives. And it's just magic <laughs> to hear the stories now. 40, 50 years later. So thank you all you fans as well um, for letting us know how we managed to help you. Thank you. Thank you. Carol. you I'd like to what? jump in. Okay. You can Caroline. Yeah, you can, do. can I jump in? Caroline, you know, and I get so much mail telling me how much in love they were with you. <laughs> You know, <laughs> that they, that you were their first uh, crush, you know, <laughs> all, the guys just as little kids, all, all they went nuts over you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. See, yeah. Hey, at the, yeah, he just... actually sent you, he said that he often used to get messages about you and his only answer was yes. She's as lovely as she seems. Aww. 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 <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I have something to share with Sid. Can you see, can you see me? Yes, yes. I can. Yeah. 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 Um, you brought up Lionel Bart's name. I have something here. A demo record. A handwritten label. Sandy, okay. Uh -oh. Yeah, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. It's a it's a demo record with Gary Strange and Lionel Bart's handwritten on the label. And it is the Bugaloo's it's not the theme that was used, but it is Bugaloo's song. Do you recall? The record is blocking the microphone. Yeah. It's blocking the microphone. Put the record down now, then yeah, we can you move, it. Yeah, you move oh, in. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I have it loaded on YouTube. If you'd like to listen to it, the audio is rough. Mm -hmm. But it was a blank from EMF. Uh, Emmy Dennis, can I say it? I hear you. <laughs> put the record put down. down. Put it down. <laughs> and just tell us. It's a demo record. From Emma Disk, is that how you say it? It's a handwritten label with Lionel Bart signature and Gary Strange. Hmm. And it is a Bugaloo song. I just wonder if you recall them recording anything. Um, I have it loaded to YouTube if you'd like to listen to it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the that's... Audio, 
Okay. I got to tell you, hold on to that. That's valuable. <laughs> yeah, the audio, yeah. The audio is rough. Yeah. Um, but it's loud if you look under Bugaloo Collector, or I'll send you a link. Okay. And also, can you see in the picture? I have the master disc for the album. Oh, yeah, the master? Mm hmm. The master disc. What? It's all handwritten. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, if I hold it up, you can't see it. I can, I can see all your collection behind you of the bugaloo. It's amazing. Wow. Sandy's collection is book wild, is what it is. Yeah. 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 I keep expecting to be on Collector's Call on that TV show on, um, oh, I can't remember what, that, uh, Comedy Central or something. Yeah, Collector's Call, they send someone over to your house and yeah. Yeah, actually, show off your collection so get robbed later. Yeah. <laughs> Magazine. Let me ask you a question. Can I ask uh, Linda? Uh, quiet. We, we haven't heard you speak, or we haven't Hi. heard Elizabeth <laughs> say ah, something. There you are. No. Hey. I'm enjoying listening. <laughs> oh, there she is. Great to see everyone. Hi. Mm -hmm. I'm just enjoying listening Hi. to everyone. It's great to be here. Hi. And, and what about what oh, about Elizabeth? Elizabeth. I say. Hi. This was dropped Hello. off my screen, and I'm not sure why. Let me see. It says her mic and her camera are on. Elizabeth, what are you doing? Listen. <laughs> She's listening. And, but, yes. yeah. and Bill. I see her everyone. Hey, Bill, I saw I'm your here. little. Is that your little girl? That was when. That you? was my little boy. They want. They want more. Oh, hair little like that. boy! Oh, I'm <laughs> Oh wow! Long so hair. Nathaniel, who was here, his favorite song, his bugaloo favorite bugaloo song, is "For a Friend." I have the forty-five. Uh -huh. It's in my jukebox, and we play it in the car, and he sings along. Uh, he used to watch it when he was younger. Um, he's into everything that's on YouTube now, but uh, he still remembers the bugaloos, and he's like, "Who's that person?" And 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 where's where's the guy who played the bumblebee? And where's the guy who was in green? I'm like, well. They're 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 not connected right now, um, but like you know, Billy Barty, Billy Barty's not. Yeah. Really, but you know, he, he thinks it's really neat to see you all. Ah, uh, that's lovely. How old is he yeah, now? Good. Uh, Nathaniel is six, and Zachary, who's not here right now, is uh, three. Um, oh. He's uh, he's seen maybe a little bit of it, but he's still he's not as talkative. <laughs> Oh, lovely, lovely. <laughs> well, Sid, as I said to you earlier, you must look at Bill's webpage at thebugaloos.com. It's been going now for how, how long, Bill? 25 years. Uh, it was mid-90s. 97 is when, uh, uh, yeah. I forget which channel it was, uh, started to play like, the Bugaloos yeah. again after just an eternity of being off the air. It was like a family yeah. channel or something like that. Family and channel, so, uh, That's what, Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so all of a sudden, every time comes rushing back because I had an audio cassette of, uh, of the song Sparky and just a little bit of the episode. And that was it. Um, we didn't have a VCR back in the 70s and everything else just kind of faded away. It's like I knew they existed, but, you know, where were they? Yeah, it's just up to the television gods to put it back on the air. And finally it happened. and It was amazing. So I built a website starting then. With that, and of course, Craig helped you a lot, didn't he? Yes. <laughs> I, well, I mean, you Craig's know, we were, <laughs> we would, I would, that's how yeah. I met Bill initially was because yeah. of, they started re-airing the show. They started re-airing the show. And then I was taught, I was emailing him and messaging him because I was such a fan and it was rare to meet someone else that was just as a big a fan of it as I was. And that, you know, I, and the, the, the craziest thing about it is, I was born, I was actually born a month into its original run. So, I mean, I'm, I, you know, I'm, you know, like second month into the original run of the series. That's when I, I you know, I, I was born in, a, in LA. But Bill really, um, really brought it all, you know, together. And we, once we connected and we became really good friends. And then, you know, all of a sudden, then all these other, the fans were coming in. And, uh, and that's how we met Sandy. And then there was Danny Pine. There's a couple of, you know, other people back then that, that, um, that you know, it just, once the shows were re what I mean, the craziest thing was once the shows were airing one at a time, and we were recording them as they were coming in. Mm -hmm. And then we'd all get online and then we'd talk about it. You know, we'd talk about the episodes and we'd talk about, you know, this, that, and the other. 
and it was just a really exciting um, bonding experience. And uh, I'm deeply grateful, you know, for that because the show meant, like you guys were talking about earlier, the show meant so much to so many of us that were lucky. And I saw it in reruns. I grew up with it on this on this on a second. I, I think it was part of um, in the in the late '70s. It was part of uh, there was a show called The Croft uh, Super Show. And that's how oh, I got introduced right. to it. And it was on after school, like every day. So I would come home from, I would run home from school, hoping that it would be a Bugaloo's episode. I'm like, okay, give me a Bugaloo's episode. Give me one. <laughs> no, nothing wrong with the other one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but that was, the, that was the beauty of it. You know, the bill, the bill took this thing and just Can ran I with it. Fantastic. Of course, so, then there was, no, there was no Facebook. There was no, no Instagram. There was nothing. <laughs> So no, not yet. Only the web pages. So the bugaloos, what, what you and Bill did, I mean, Bill set it up and, and it was just amazing, absolutely fantastic. And then we had that teleconference, no, that, yeah, the telephone conference. Do you remember? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Then, yeah 2002. That's that incredible. Yeah. Yeah. On the website thing. thing. Just listening to everybody, what you have to say, Greg and, and Bill and all of you. I'm sitting here and I'm going, wow. You know, <laughs> I'm just blown away, honestly. Mr. Cross. It's I, true. It's true. I really am just, you know, all the fans out there and how, you know, most shows that were on Saturday morning, could you name any of them? I can't. You know, I'm talking about 50 years ago or, you know, 40 yeah. years ago, 55 years ago. But it's amazing to me how those shows, especially the Bugaloos, what it meant to people, yes. yeah. you know, and growing up and how they took it with them <laughs> all these years. If you ask them, Okay, when you were that age, tell me other shows that you like. They can't. They were so enthralled and so, you know, it meant so much to them. So can you imagine what all that means to me right now? You know, uh, and always, yeah. you know, it's- You're into your I, third generation of families in some of them, the mums and the dads and then their children. Yeah. And now, mm -hmm. like with Elizabeth, yeah. their children. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. you think yes. that it, um, YouTube, yeah. of course, all your music and the songs and the feelings are mm -hmm. all being relived again mm -hmm. on, the, on the media, which is, it's wonderful. Yeah. Um, it, not it's only that. It's publicity in London. Um, I was away, but Kareen had saved a lot. Um, it, Caroline, I don't, and John, I don't know if you agree, but the, the amount of publicity that the Bugaloos had oh. before you'd even done anything, Go. that was very yeah, unusual. Usually, you had, yes. had to perform, you had to present something, but there was something about the Bugaloos that even at, as word got around that there were the auditions and things like that that was quite exciting but when you had when you were chosen and the publicity started to build that was really unusual yeah and then of course you went to america and hey <laughs> you know what you, you know another thing the the chances of a show even getting on television right one in a zillion and yeah. you know and it all started the, the very first television show that we did was hr puff and stuff and just to get that on because there's just thousands and thousands of people trying to break in and open up that door. And I'm so grateful for that. But you know, it's because uh, of maybe my, my career that happened before it and all those doors that kept opening up 
and you know, and the people that I had met, you know, I made a list a, a couple of weeks ago of all the people that I brought in to all of our shows. There's 76 people, you know, <laughs> Martha Ray. Martha Ray was a friend of mine. She said to me, you know, she, she did us a favor and, and played Boss Witch and, mm. and Puff and stuff. She didn't want to do that, you know. <laughs> she didn't want to even, you know. She said, I, I don't want to do that kind of a part. I, you know that the first person I approached was Be Betty Davis. Did you know oh, that? What? Wow. Oh, because I, I wanted Betty Davis to play Boss Witch. And I called her in Connecticut and I said, you know, we just finished doing a, a television show. It's called HR Puff and stuff. She said, I never heard of it. And I said, you know, we're doing a movie over at Universal uh, and there's a part in it. And uh, it's, she said, what's the part? And I said, Boss Witch. She said, you want me to play a witch? Go fuck yourself. And, hung <laughs> and she hung up, right? Oh, man. And man, I know so you have to get going. I wrote I her a letter. I wrote her a handwritten letter. I never heard from her, her again. Also, Joy, you're going to love this. That I don't know who it was. There was a little person in San Francisco that Billy Vardy told me about. Because I'm trying to get as many as I can. You know, we needed, you know, as many as we could possibly find. And, you know, we brought in the, uh, 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 what was it? The, uh, oh God, from Germany. What was their name? The singer midget. The singer midget. Yeah. Sid, I think they were called the Hermine midget. And the Hermine midget, yeah. Okay, so anyway, I, Billy Barty said, call this woman in San Francisco because she wants to be in show business. I don't know who it was. I think she was in Poltergeist. Linda Hunt? That? Zelda Rubenstein. Zelda. I oh. called Zelda. And, <laughs> and, and she said, um, and I said, you know, we're looking for little people. Would you come down to Los Angeles? We're paying such 400, I guess, you know, a week or whatever. And she said, you want me to be a, a, a mushroom? Go fuck yourself. So that was the second fuck yourself that I got. Oh, Daria, you've got some editing to do here. <laughs> So hey, the anyway. world has changed. Apparently, people speak like that all the time. <laughs> but yeah. Sid, I know you really need to go and have your breakfast. I just wanted to ask one last question because for Please. you, because Elizabeth, I don't know what happened to her, but she wanted to know if you would definitively explain what Benita Bazaar was. Was she a witch? Was she uh, somebody okay. who had been hurt and wasn't? No, like I, I, okay, you. no. Let me tell you the the whole story. Okay. Martha okay. Ray was a really good friend of mine and she had a nightclub in in Miami and I used to play Miami. There was a, a vaudeville theater downtown called the Olympia Theater. I worked there with Mickey Rooney and a lot of vaudeville stars, right? And there was a club in San Francisco next to her club. It was called the Jewel Box and the Jewel mm -hmm. Box was a drag show, but it was like <laughs> Dickfield Follies. Mm -hmm. never, there was nothing like it in the world at that time. This is in the 50s. And I used to go there with Martha Ray, and there was a, one of the stars in that drag show was called Miss Benita Bazaar. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. No. Right? And so when I, and that always stuck in my mind, and, and Martha Ray, because we used to love to go to that club, because it was amazing. The costumes, the makeup, 
and <laughs> it was serious. You know, it wasn't like uh, there was one woman in it, and she was the MC as a man, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody ever saw anything like that in the 50s, right? Wow. It, it, it was a huge success, this club, the Jewel Bar. Okay, now, Bonita Bazaar, I need a villain, right? The first thought I, w I had was Martha Ray. I called Martha Ray, and I, because she already did Boss Witch, I said, okay, we're, I have an idea, and I want you to play this character, Benita Bazaar. Because if you look at Benita Bazaar and what she wore and the way she acted, it was like a drag queen. Yeah. It was, you know, yeah. It was like she was in drag. Okay, I called her and she said, maybe the third time I heard the F you. She said, <laughs> you know, she said, please, I'm not going to do a kid show. That means my career is over. Don't <laughs> need to do that. I had that trouble with everybody. You know, everybody on all the other shows, every time I knew, I knew Charles Nelson Riley. He said, mm -hmm. no way, you know, that would end my career. I knew uh, Jim Neighbors, no, don't ask me again. <laughs> but I got them all, right? Okay, so. As you. <laughs> the need of bizarre, I needed a villain. <clears throat> and, you know, it was, a clown. It was witchy poo, but it was oh. he lived in a jukebox where everything was frantic, you know, and Wolfer and Tweeter, you know, she, her psychic and then her her Nazi or whatever <laughs> or, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which was sort of taken from the movie. And don't there were a lot of things that weren't in the show that maybe you don't know about because I had uptown where everything was frantic and she was frantic and she wanted to steal, you know, she hated music, but mm -hmm. she wanted to steal your, your voices and, and, and your talents. And, you know, it mm -hmm. was like the flute, which you poo, you know, I'm stealing right. all the ideas mm -hmm. and going in other directions. Okay, so now, and there was downtown. Downtown was where the pigs, the, the police, and you know, mm -hmm. they threw that out immediately. That, that they didn't like for kids. But, and then I had the squares. And the squares, that was part of another section in, in uh, Beyond Tranquility. The mm -hmm. squares, everything, their houses were square, they were square. Their animals were square. Oh, I would have loved just, to see that. Yeah, <laughs> right. that was very hip then. It was <laughs> a psychedelic period, you know. And, <laughs> and we drew all that because, you know, the presentations, we have a book. And, and that's the way we never did a pilot. We didn't do a pilot. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I, went, I would go in with this big book with all these characters, you know, and tell the story. Benita Bazaar, you know. Mm -hmm. and so, Nikki Nardo, you remember Nikki. Nikki was my art director that was beyond belief. You know, Nick, I'm not an artist, but I know how to push their pencil. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I would sit with him all day long because he was the head of the art department and he knew, he knew exactly where my head was. He knew mm -hmm. I love Technicolor because mm -hmm. I made people smile, color, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what your show was, you know, lipstick red, you know, <laughs> and, and all those uh, uh, beautiful Can I places. Say for something there, Sid? Um, because Martha Ray isn't here anymore, obviously. Um, 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 Amati was, Wayne was saying that she was one of the most generous and thoughtful 
and kind artists that he's ever met and but how kind she was. To but I gotta people. tell you something. Why? Because Martha Ray is, is was old school. She mm -hmm. was real, you know, came from vaudeville, came from, you know, yeah. movies, came from having a club, came from, came from that doesn't exist anymore. She mm -hmm. was she hated at the beginning. You you remember she used to come in late. We had to pick her up with a car. She was never oh, wow. she loved <laughs> she was a pro when she got there, but oh my god, Marty kept saying to me, She's gonna kill us. We're gonna be in the poorhouse, you know. And I had to handle her. I had to hand I handled all all the stars that I brought in, Charles Nelson Riley, ah, he was oh, I've heard, like, I've heard. Oh, oh. I, I, that green makeup, it's a, it's the cross concentration camp. Ah, <laughs> yeah, but you want to know something? That character became Charles Nelson Riley. And that it. character <laughs> is remembered. Nobody remembers Charles Nelson Riley or anything that he did in his career, but they remember who do. And <laughs> he was on Johnny Carson or any of those shows. He came. And do you remember the time that uh, Charles said he wasn't gonna come in to film that one day? And he said, I'm not coming in. You guys work me too hard. I have to do this, I have to do that. I'm not coming in tomorrow. And remember, he didn't? And he didn't. I know it. No, Marty. <laughs> Marty. I mean, hey, you want to know something? Even your show, The Bugaloos, we only got sixty-four thousand dollars an episode. Mm -hmm. And you know what? What everybody loved the crops for to this day, we put everything on the screen. Yes. Everything. All the money they give you, and I had to figure out. You know, like Marty would come to me, rah, 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 and that's all I heard from Marty, rah, screaming at me as you all <laughs> experienced all the time. You know, I don't even hear his words. All I hear is, rah, 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 rah. you know, <laughs> to this day, to this day, I haven't no. talked to him in months, you know, because mm. I can't deal with him that negativity. I don't want, you know, he tells me all the bad things. Okay, so anyway, um, I had to deal with all all the Charles Nelson and Riley's and, you know, and all of them, all of them down the line. You know, we did Richard Pryor, Pryor's Place. Oh. You know, it was oh, yeah. unbelievable. We had huge <laughs> stars on it, but Marty, he didn't like Marty, but I had to go into his dressing room and I calmed him down all the time, you know, and said, come on, you know, you're, you're going to ruin us. You can't do that. You know, it's me. It's, I created that show. You know, please, you're destroying me. Forget Marty. Marty's the business, you know, and to this day, you know, he just, he drives me crazy. <laughs> We've been together, I don't know, working together for 60 some odd years. Mm -hmm. I mean, three more years, if I'm with him three more years, if I live that long, then I can collect uh, social security all over again, right? <laughs> you, to be, you gotta be 65 years old. Yeah, I mean, 65 after working for 65 years. But we make a great pair, you know. He, you know, he, like I said, you know. Oh my God. That's the one thing about collaborators. It's like yeah. if you can get along on the business side, yeah. everything came out on the screen. So mm -hmm. we all found out, you know, whatever was going on behind the scenes, we little kids didn't care. We knew that you were giving us something wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. and we that. Tell you how much we appreciate and, everything. And that was that. because I fought night and day for every little thing. 
Jim Tritipo that did the sets. Jim Tritipo, he Magic. did the he did the Academy Awards. He did huge things. He was a <laughs> friend of mine. I went to Jim. Even Tony Shomley, he never did anything like that. You know, mm -hmm. the Bugaloos was before MTV. Mm -hmm. but Tony Shomley, mm -hmm. that yeah. was MTV. Yeah. That was, you know. Right? And mm -hmm. so all those things. Tony Shomley, I knew him in 1952. You know, I, I knew him when I lived at the Chateau Marmont. And he had a cottage and I had the shittiest room because that's all I could afford <laughs> facing the alleyway. He was uh, on, and at the pool in a cottage next to, um, uh, who was it? Um, Carol Channing, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And so, you know, I approached him and I said, Tony, you'd be perfect for the Bugaloos. He said, I've never done this. You know, he did Dinah Shar, he did all those Miss mm -hmm. America, he did uh, that, uh, what was it uh, that they found? Something with uh, uh, Star Search. Star oh, Search. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He, he found all those incredible, you know, huge stars that are out there right now. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and he, he said, you can't really pay me enough. You know, we never had enough money to, to pay these people, you mm -hmm. know? And so uh, it's amazing. It's just, to me, it's unbelievable that I'm even sitting here with, and enjoying all of you, you know? And it's just, I, I'm on Instagram and I don't know if you're watching me. I've yes, only been, on, I've only been <laughs> on a few months. I started with 500 people. I'm almost up to 7,000. Wow. And, and people, well, and it's real because, you know, Kenny Ortega, who's also a great friend of mine who did, uh, you know, uh, what a high school musical and all those great things. He's got, he's got 700,000, but you want to know something? All those people that have all those followers, they're all bought. I didn't buy anything. I didn't buy one of those people. And you know what? The fans are just beginning to find me because I started with the puppeteers because I'm the grandfather of puppetry, right? And the puppeteers, yeah. I've never spoken to them. They know all the wonderful things that I've done, Les Poupées de Paris and for puppetry, unbelievable mm -hmm. things that, that I have created for puppetry. Now I'm hearing from Russia, Brazil, wow. Canada, you know, New Zealand, Australia. I've got puppeteers all over the world, and that's mostly who my followers are right now. But now I'm beginning to get the bugaloos and the puffin stuff. And tomorrow I'm going to be talking about Land of the Lost, you know. So, you know. And we're definitely spreading the word about your uh, appearances on Instagram because it's fantastic to get mm -hmm. you for you know an what? hour. Well, thank you. You know what? I I didn't want Kelly made me do it. Kelly, after I got yes, the, we love Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Yeah, after I got the star on the Walk of Fame, which was also a nightmare because Marty, up until I made my speech, Marty said, don't do more than two minutes. I said, Marty, I've been in the business 80 years. Give me two minutes for every 10 years. He said, I can't stand there. And if you were there, he I was said, okay, okay, it's okay. And I said, sit down. You, know, <laughs> you, know. you did beautifully. I, I, I got to say, because so, I, he, sorry, excuse me. I, I was there with Bill and with Dar, and I'm telling you, we were, we were behind the stage because we wanted to get closer. Bill and I were actually behind the podium. <laughs> and 
we're watching you giving this speech, and it was very heartfelt, Sid. We we could feel the love in there, you know. Yes. And then Marty, I'm sorry, Marty, Marty was like. Okay, yeah, don't speak more than you know, two minutes. You know. And then you said, uh huh, uh huh, watch this. And so you went on this speech, you know. And we're sitting here, and I'm, I'm looking over at Bill, and I'm like, how long do you think before they start going WWF on this? You know, going <laughs> to into a royal rumble of, of sorts where you're going to see fists flying and chairs flying and all. And it was, no, it was you great. Know, we were really you know proud. what? We really I happy. almost didn't show up that day because oh, that oh, morning. Wow. No, it was Kelly that made me go. That uh, morning, I got a, a, I don't know why I looked online, uh, you know, and I got a message from the Hollywood Walk of Fame and the, that woman that didn't shut the hell up. She <laughs> to, I, don't know, I don't know what she was talking about. Nobody could understand her with her accent. But, I get a notice from her and she said, don't do more than two minutes. So I said to Kelly, you know what? Let Marty handle it. I don't even, I don't. Oh, we're change. so glad that you changed your mind. You were, mm -hmm. you were the, the light of that. Oh whole my morning. God. <laughs> and my, Marty, Marty's speech, I, you know, I have to mention this. I couldn't believe what he said at the end. He said, oh. if there's anybody out there because he had months to think about it. If there's anybody out there that didn't like any of our shows, just keep your big mouth shut. And that, <laughs> That's right. And I went, whoa, I yeah. mean, how dare you say that to your fans? Yeah. You know? And yeah, so, luckily they didn't cover that on the news, so. so. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, they didn't, you know? No. And I don't know where he got that from. Yes, I do. At, after Le Poupé de Paris and what made it such a huge, huge hit is we used to invite the audience backstage because it took three months to install that piece of machinery. And, you know, it had an ice rink and, and a swimming pool and waterfalls and fireworks and mm -hmm. you know, 250 puppets and, and people were dying to come back and see how it was all done. And, and, and the girls in the dressing room, you know, girls, the puppets, you know, were, were uh, backstage. So anyway, if a croft was there, we used to take the bow with the puppeteers. And mm -hmm. I would always say, you know, how many people out there have seen the show before? And, you know, a lot of hands would go up because people came back because of the backstage. They couldn't wait to bring their friends and not only see this unbelievable show, but to go backstage. Okay, and then I used to say, if there's anybody out there that didn't like the show, say nothing, right? Mm -hmm. Say, keep your big mouth shut. That's where he <laughs> took it from. <you> know? <laughs> Okay, so anyway, you know, I don't mean to, to put Marty down, but I can't. Wait up. <laughs> yeah. Say no more. Say no more. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's brought, you know, you have a brother or a sister. You know what I'm talking right. about. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. And it, 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 we, we want to thank you so much for joining us. And I know you have yeah. not had your breakfast yet. Well, not only mm -hmm. that, what time is it? Yeah. It's, and it's almost 11. I have, I have another, I have a Zoom at 11 o'clock. Okay. So, yeah. So, with somebody, I in, somebody in Nashville. <laughs> God, I love all of you so much. Thank you so much. This was the biggest treat. For me, it really was. And you well, got we love you too. We love us. And thank you so, so much for joining in. Well, Caroline and little John. I'm sorry, big John. Yeah. Oh, look at the puppet. Oh my Archie. God. Oh my God. How cool. Oh, and, I love it. Uh, yeah. We just can't thank you enough for joining us. And, Greg and, and oh, Wilma, we want to make sure that your 50th anniversary, this is a, the best party we could throw. 
And yeah. we're hoping that maybe next year you'll come to Comic-Con again. And maybe we can do this all over again with the cast. <laughs> well, we could. You know what? Great. The reason I haven't been at Comic-Con for the last two years, mm -hmm. I, I had health problems. Right. You know? And just to take that train, mm. it's an 18-hour day for me. Right. I'm going, okay, I've done it yeah. for 50 years. Mm -hmm. wow. We've been there every single year. Mm -hmm. I, like Marty, Marty goes, that's fine. But yeah. you know what? If I'm not there, people get really upset. You know, they walk Everyone out. misses you. Mm -hmm. They walk out. Because you have uh, the best stories. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's my life. It's my life. Thank that's you. That's right. I love you. I love you. Love you so much. We Thank love you, you too. everybody. Love you too. Please. And stay safe. Right, yeah. Stay, stay safe. Stay safe. Yeah. yeah. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, <laughs> for coming on. Little thank John. You. Hey, thank you. You're frozen. I don't know why. Uh oh. <laughs> Little, <laughs> Little John. Yeah, Asking the moment. And joy. <laughs> oh, wow. That is. That is a joy to see you, you know. It's great to see you too, Sid, and I hope we can get together and do this again. Yeah, great. no, yeah. no. And wait until you see what I'm coming up with next. Call oh, me. It's going to be, the, oh yeah, it's going to be the biggest thing we've ever done. It's amazing. You know, I'm not on an ego trip, but... You'll hear about it soon. We can't wait. Love yeah. you, love you, love you, love you. Yeah. We love you too. Have a beautiful too. day and night. You know, it's nighttime already where you yep. guys are. That's right. <laughs> okay. See thank you, you Thank you for joining us. And we hope, yeah, we'd love mm -hmm. to do this again sometime. Okay. I have more stories to tell you. Okay. Yay. Bye. 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 Bye, Bye Sid. Bye, Sid. Okay. Bye, Sid. Bye, Sid. Bye. John is wait, John. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh oh, we lost him. Oh no. So connecting the audio. Let me see if I can John. help on the side. John. Uh, let's see. Can I can I say two things while we're trying to get John back for a sure. second? Go for it. Um, <laughs> I wanted to mention. Well, first of all, it is wonderful as a fan to for all of us to be together like this and Joy Campbell's and, and obviously little John and Caroline, all of us, you know, this you. is wonderful. It's love fun. you, love you all. Thank you really for everything. I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm trying to put the right words in here, but what I wanted to say was um, <laughs> what I was mentioning with, with Bill early in those early years when, when he started the, the Bugaloos uh, site, mm -hmm. um, we got together. One of the first times we went out we went to this uh, craft auction. They were they were auctioning off the puppets, and uh, it was the first time that I got to meet uh, Billy Barty. Uh, for the first time, we sat with him, and oh, wow. I just remember that vividly because he was so um, he loved the show. He loved the <laughs> Bugaloo. He he spoke about the Bugaloos with uh, deep appreciation. And uh, he said it was always fun. It was never a dull moment. He said, I, I would teach little John drum lessons because, you know, Sparky had the drum kit on the, on the show. Mm -hmm. And you know, talk about these little things, you know, and he, and he always spoke about it with, with deep, you could tell he, he loved it. He, lo he, he loved uh, the whole experience, but the Bugaloos, he said, was a particular you know, thing for him. And then also we were fortunate enough to meet, uh, I don't know if we got to mention uh, Van Snowden, Bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, oh, yeah. I met yeah. Van Snowden at the Hollywood Collectors Show. And somewhere in my collection, and I don't know where it is, and I'm freaking out, but Van drew the set for me because we were talking about like the technicalities of how the show was put together on two sound stages and you know, the bugs would fly you know, on another sound stage. And then on the main one, you had Tranquility Forest on one side and then uh, Benita Bazaar's Box. place on the other right yeah mm -hmm. and so but he drew all this out and he was so huh? he was a gentle he was a gentle person tall guy <laughs> and he was just um again he was another one that said our cast was really close the crew was very close everybody got on really well 
Mm -hmm. uh, it was, you know, like, like, and again, he echoed what Billy had said that it was, a, you know, that Martha Ray was a class act and um, had a, you know, she was crazy, but Vance, she was nuts, <laughs> but, you know, we, we loved her and, 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 and respected her for, for everything. But, um, and then that's, you know, little things like that. But I mean, you jump ahead to um, that teleconference was probably the closest thing we got to everybody being on. Uh, mm -hmm. know, on the phone because we because we, we had Wayne and and I'm I'm really um, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. sorry that that I mean please pass on to Wayne and Armini that you know that we love him and we miss this him and I hope he's he's happy and he's healthy you know where he, you know where he is um, but yeah we I guess as fans I don't want to ramble too much but I I'm I'm sure I could echo this but had it not been for the show you know for myself I mean I would have never met Bill I would have never mm -hmm. met. Sandy Johnson, who's got this insane collection. Yep. I mean, if you needed Thank a Bugaloo's you. reference for something, she was the one. Even though she wouldn't sing on camera, she was still good with her collection. <laughs> yeah, I was camera shy. Yeah, <laughs> she was camera shy like no tomorrow, you know. Yeah, John, but, we uh, can see it, you, but it, you we know, don't it have was, any and then audience. Obviously, connecting with my wife Caroline. I don't want to, you know. What I'm saying. <laughs> 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 yeah, go there, Craig. I'm coming right. to Spain for you, Caroline. I'm coming to Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Little John, I love the to it, I'm Craig. not getting any audio from him. And the well, other thing is, I had this set for two hours. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, I was so saying, it won't let me extend this, so I, I, it may just keep going or it may not. So if uh -oh. I lose you, I love okay, all of you and I appreciate you, anyway. you joining us. Thank <laughs> so, you for this that 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 Vilma, that yes, I'm going to love you and leave you because it's getting beginning to get dark here. And I've got to go and feed my horses. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Thank Caroline. You. We have no, it. It's been yeah. great. Well done for getting it, setting it all up and getting it all together. It's been Thank great you. fun. And let's hope there's going to be more in the future. Caroline? Certainly. We, we adore you. We'd love to see you again. Of course. If the bugaloos could fly, what do they need the car for? If the bugaloos could fly, what do they need? <laughs> the Why do they need for? a car? Oh, yeah, the, the buggy. buggy. Why the buggy? The buggy. Yeah, but, you know, it was very, it was very overgrown in the jungle there. So sometimes the uh. flies all the trees and the leaves and everything. And as there were tracks through the jungle, sometimes it was easier just to jump in the car and well, they give ourselves the <laughs> 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 Well, we love you. Take care of your horses. And right. thank you. Mm -hmm. you <laughs> yeah. And thank you for thank all the responses. Thank you very much for, you for joining in. Love to Wayne Vilma. Give my love to, well, Amati, I should say, I suppose. But I give him my love. And, I and obviously Bill and the family and the children, Sandy, you're yeah, fantastic, you. everything you do. Elizabeth, thank I can't you. see you now. And little mm -hmm. John, take care. We'll chat soon, little John. <laughs> and of course, Craig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take care. Thank All you. right, you. Bye. 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 See you there. It's been great. Oh. Yes, oh, it's a wonderful morning, evening over there, and we can't tell you how much we appreciate everyone's participation. Vilma, what happened was I was trying to plug in some of your uh, images, and they kept freezing the screen. So I'm going to set it so everyone can see all of those, because it's right. so wonderful of you to contribute those. Hi, John. And, um, you know, but I'll make sure that everybody's able to see what you've given us. Can't we? I, you can put them on the Facebook pages for them. Yes, I will. It's like, I'll have Love that set this afternoon. Now I've got a J for John. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, Let no. Me look at my controls and see what happens. Wow. Okay. Uh oh, no. So theoretically, we've got like six minutes. Let me see. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I said, I don't know what happens after that. It may just be. But well, in case, we, <laughs> in case we get cut off, I mean, it, does anybody want to, somebody should, I, I've been yakking long. Somebody say something, please. Linda, <laughs> so, Linda's been um, so quiet. Yeah, Elizabeth, Linda, say Linda, something. I've already asked your question about the needle. <laughs> Sorry, I've been quiet. <laughs> Thank you all for no, putting in all these efforts and making this happen. This has been just absolutely fantastic. Wonderful mm -hmm. way to spend a morning and a 50th anniversary. Thank you all. It's been great. Mm.
It's it's really been fun. And uh, Joy, Vilma, John, I just cannot tell you how much we appreciate you getting in on this because yes. you know, it's fantastic. Yes. And it's it's a wonderful fandom. I just don't know that a lot of people are connected the way that we are, but I run into people all the time and if they see a bugaloos, you know, they hear bugaloos, they start singing that theme. <laughs> Everybody knows that theme, young, old, doesn't matter. Everyone knows the Bugaloo song. I was reading one of the novels. I was rereading it a couple of years ago. <laughs> and I was sitting there at my tax office and the lady at the desk said, the Bugaloos, and she's the Bugaloos, the Bugaloos. And the <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's always the way. So it's like, it's fantastic. I and have it as the ring. So I'm sorry. I have it as the ringtone on my phone. I get. You should see the looks I get when my phone rings. Oh, wow. Oh, you have a ringtone, too? <laughs> yes. I, had, I made one. <laughs> oh, I, I made one. That. See, yeah. the, the stories I always heard through the website, people would say, oh, my God, I found your site. The Bugaloos are real. I had friends that never remembered it. They convinced me that I had dreamed the whole thing, and this couldn't <laughs> possibly be a, an actual thing that was ever on the air. And now I have proof. And this, oh, was, it's this real. is not Thanks. unique. This happened to a lot of different people. I'm glad yeah, to hear real. that there's so much positive feedback and people's like, oh my God, there it is. I remember that. And yes. that's, that's one of the best feelings. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's true. Well, Bill, yeah. you, start, you started it all. And I mean, yes. my site was uh, from you. <laughs> is what got well, me, thank you. Know. And thank you, Ken. You are like my number one contributor and you have bugaloos.net and there's just, you know, so much more stuff uh, that you have gone and collected and curated and, and you know, who can see the, the yeah, amount of attention and put shot, to it. But you inspired my site. <laughs> oh. You, you will I'll, have to do a, like a video walkthrough of your collection at some point thank in time. Yes. And yeah, well, I, I, cleaned see up, thing. I cleaned up this much of this room. <laughs> That's not very tidy. Yeah, this spot. <laughs> That's great. No, I think that would be a fantastic idea. Is maybe take us through your collection one one day. Okay. So. Well, I get it organized and spread out where you can see everything. There's tons of literature, magazines, tons of like original art. Oh wow! This is insane. <laughs> Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, well, Bill had everything, and he inspired my sight. And getting out there and looking, I realized there wasn't a lot of collectibles or memorabilia. So, no, my interest went to preserving that mm -hmm. and, and collecting that, and uh, that's that's been my passion. And it's over fantastic. the years, yeah, over the years, you I, found so many things that I didn't even know were out there. We had the right. costumes when I was a kid. But mm -hmm. yeah, there's so many other things you found that I'm like, I didn't even know that existed. Yeah, so. no, I'm always surprised. I'm still, things will mm -hmm. pop up. I'm like, wow, you know. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, Sandy's got the scripts. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Who's got the scripts yeah. to the show? The bottom, and I have John, Big John's. Oh, yeah. Right, oh, right. right. Okay. Oh. Uh huh. His briefcase, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you, it's insane. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Elizabeth, do you want to say something before it? Um, so you've been so quiet. I know. <laughs> Don't forget to write. <laughs> 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 we love to hear from we you. Love to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I think Linda, sh I think Linda shy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do want to thank everybody for supporting the page. I want to say hi to everyone that supports our page and thank mm -hmm. everyone so much for your support and contributions. I don't know what to do without you all. One, you. We're one big family. Yeah. yeah. And we, I really we gotta get together I think somehow. Lovely that all the all the fan pages and the like share because that doesn't happen in a lot of fandoms. Yeah. Some fandoms right. can be kind of cutthroat. And it's right. really nice to see that everybody will share things back and forth and they're lovely yeah. about, it, you know. Yeah. And that's why I always yeah. just say make sure you give credit to whoever you got it from. But right. if you have right. something cool, share it. You know, and that's why Linda, Sandy, you know, when we finally started getting this together, Bill, we wanted to make sure you were involved too, because I know you were thank there before you. I was involved yeah. in all of this. Well, so, thank you for that. You know? it. Yeah. 
because yeah, it's like I kind of yeah. been in the background of all of it, but when I finally said, "Gee, there are people online who care about this," yeah, <laughs> <laughs> mm, definitely, definitely. So oh, that's cool. Daria, it, 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 it was a it was a pleasure meeting you at the at, at, at Sid's thing. And mm -hmm. you, I was so happy to meet you there. And I, when I saw Bill, I'm like, yeah, I'm not out here by myself. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we have to get together like somehow. This is ridiculous. I mean, hopefully mm -hmm. when things calm down and like Joy said yeah. earlier, you know, yeah. this COVID thing calms down. I really <laughs> hope we can all get into a room together. I yeah. think that would, that would really mean a lot to me. You know? Exactly. Well, I think that Lynn, would be great. Right? Lynn and I mm -hmm. have made plans. She's on the very East Coast. She's going to hop over to yeah. Mississippi and grab me and we're heading There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's right. right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That would be if really you have to come over. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we need to yeah. find some place that's kind of central to everybody so that right. they're not making a really big, you know. Uh, and yeah. I haven't yeah. given up. I haven't given up, but maybe this time next year when there is a reunion in person, mm -hmm. right, I'll have the buggy back in the States. I haven't Ooh, given all up. Right. And now I have, wow. Wes my, I have Wes in my corner. Yeah. So, that's right. I had, I had everything organized up to the shipping cost. I had everything planned. <laughs> this was before it was sold to where it's at now. But mm -hmm. I was just short of the shipping cost. And in talking with Wes, he's like, man, I wish I had known, you know. Mm -hmm. so, we'll see. I haven't given up. Is it still in Britain? As far as I know, it, it's... As far as I know, it's still in the London Motor Museum. Uh, uh -huh. It was shut down and locked up because I don't want to go into that, but cars out of that museum have been popping up for sale, so oh I'm watching, and it actually, uh -oh. um, one car went up for sale in the picture of the car in the background, and you see the buggy, uh -oh. Oh, wow. but I'm, I'm not sure exactly that, that it's still at that location. I'm because amazed that they would sell something from the, yeah, the museum, museum closed, and... Uh, is up mm -hmm. for rent actually, so I would assume the cars were moved. If they were, I don't know where it is right now. We'll oh, go wow. get the buggy. <laughs> but I'm looking. <laughs> I haven't given up. I'll go, I'll go was, with you, Sandy. Was, Let's go get the buggy. We'll do what okay, we can. We have, with this thing. I got the address. We need to go to Hayes. <laughs> we need to. Where is it? <laughs> where is England. the museum? Got to jump the pond and go to England. Hayes, England. Where is it in London? The museum. I. Yes, it's um. It says Hayes, England, which I think is outside, of, like a suburb for us here outside yes, of it London. Is. It is. I'll get the address of you, and so I can go and see if I can uh -huh. see. Uh -huh. I have the address. <laughs> John, we can there you see. Here you go, Bilma. Don't have any on. I have the address of the museum. Now, whether the cars are still there, I don't know. That's if what it I'm is. I'd about. love to see it for real. It's yep. so beautifully constructed. And the colors and everything. Yeah, I know. Huh? Well, and before it was sold to the owner now, the man that had it before restored it. Mm -hmm. So it's totally redone. And it should be a shame, you know, for it to sit. I, like I said, I don't know where it is. Mm. But it needs to, I feel it needs to come back to the States, especially if we have a reunion in person. I mean, how cool would that mm -hmm. be? Yeah. Little John yeah, could buddy. drive it. He's he's good yeah. at driving that car. There you go. John John can go get it. <laughs> oh no. Can you oh, see that John, he's, he's lost the sound. He's, yeah, he's yeah. there, but he's, he's lost the sound. Darn it. Okay. Um well, yeah. he could drive the car though, because he was bad. good at it. He could just yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be lovely. And I mean, there's so many fandoms that do manage to put together um, conventions. And it could be on a smaller scale. But yeah, for to make it worth your while to move that bug, <laughs> the bugaloo buggy, I don't know. We'd have to figure <laughs> out where to do something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Wes, yeah. Wes and I are working on it, and we, uh, he said, well, you know, we're going to be co-owners. I'm like, that's okay. <laughs> Just want to get it back over here. <laughs> that would be fantastic. But, oh, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Either that or I'll come into your house, and we'll just do a tour of your, your collection. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you <laughs> Anytime. Uh oh Joy's trying to. I've had, a, I've had a great time today, and I'm going to sign off for now. I hope okay. we can do this again. Oh, uh, thank you joining us. We thank appreciate you. you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Joy. Thank you, daughter. Great to talk with you.
Joy. Joy, I have one question for you, Joy. Yes. How are the plants doing yes. I sent you? Can you send me some more? Because you know what happened? The boys <laughs> were, were planting things, and those bulbs kind of got kicked out of the way. Uh-huh. We don't have, and they're not in the Okay. Ground. I want some more, please. Okay, I sure right. will. Okay. Thank okay. you. I was going to ask you if I could get some more. <laughs> That's okay, lovely. Right. Thank, Thank you, Joy. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, this has been insane. I'm drained. <laughs> I know. I'm going to be pinching myself later going, did Yo. this really happen? <laughs> this is, I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm throwing this on after we're done. Yeah. I'm going in. <laughs> Yo, episode A, episode number yeah. one, 50 years to today, right? All right. Okay, so hey, if you right. got okay. it, let, let's do this, right? Yep. <laughs> let's go. Sounds I good. remember <laughs> so well because I have we have two younger brothers. And opposite the Bugaloos on another channel, there was this awful show called Lancelot Link's Secret Chimp. <laughs> Nah. I hated that nah. the und undying passion, but my little brothers loved it. And so we're wrestling with them to get to the TV going, no, you know, we've got to see the Bugaloos. And every Saturday morning that played out the entire run of the Bugaloos because they wanted to watch those darn chimps. <laughs> and we didn't have a remote control back then. So we were fighting over the dial on the TV. You know, and it was like it was amazing. So now my battle still okay, is really by that. You know, like, we have to see our bugaloos. You know, and it's like, oh my gosh, it's those chimps again. You know, because that show for some reason was an hour long. So it was like they get to watch the first half, and the minute it would get to nope, second half, we're going to the bugaloos. Forget it. So that's the only reason we got through that whole season. Was that, mm -hmm. you know, we could watch the Bugaloos as long as they saw a half hour of the chimps first. It's like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's amazing how those things stay vividly in your memory. I don't know if they remember, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> they actually remember the chimps. I don't know if they remember the Bugaloos, but because um, I think they'd run outside and play and we were more than happy to get rid of them. So, <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to thank. Bill, I, when I was talking about all the girls that have, have been in touch and let me join the clubs and things, Bill also from the very early days was um, encouraging me to, uh, to come and get on the Facebook pages and things. Mm. So I want to thank mm -hmm. you too. It's um, well, thank you. You're welcome. You, uh, you light up the room every time you show up and, and uh, it's great to still have some connection with Wayne when he... Uh, is unable or, or just too busy to, to hang out with us. Uh, uh, I, I know he's got so much to do. It's, and also he, he's stepped back a bit. He's not, he's still lovely and everything, but he doesn't put himself forward for anything. So I, <laughs> I have to channel everything, all the joy and everything that I get from you and the Facebook pages and everything. I always tell him about it. Um, but it's, it's just he can't come forward. He, he spends a, a lot of time writing and his books are really beautiful. They're beautiful mm. stories. And, and I see, I'd love to speak with him about those sort of things because I, I write children's books as well. So you I do? Was so, yes, I do. So I was like, I'm so excited to hear he was doing that. So I'd love to trade off books with him. <laughs> I was really afraid there has to be a swapsies going on there. Mm -hmm. That would be wonderful. I'll talk to you about that separately. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I I've been to show books. John. John, do you, is this one of the photographs? Oh. Look at that sweet oh. face. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Oh. That's adorable. It's like. Publicity. Yeah. When Daria Not photographs, when I photograph everything for Daria for the Facebook pages, this was from this um, publicity pack that went out with the um, mm. yeah. and, uh, for the press. and on every on every photograph, there's a biography, and so you'll know what your history was like. Uh oh! <laughs> from the day you were born till seven till you did the um, till you started on the program. And it's got the story of Sid and Marty Croft. I would mm -hmm. imagine that, Sandy, you've already got all this pa these paper publicity things, no? Yes. <laughs> I would think so. Yeah. 
<laughs> Sandy has everything. <laughs> like, that's lucky. See, I have all of these on my phone. Oh, and I was trying to show these, but it was on the screen. So, because oh, I have yeah. all of these that Vilma sent, and I'm going to put all of these on the Facebook page. And then, oh, if you great. guys want to take the files, oh, that one. look at that handsome. Oh, wow. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. There we go. There he is. Uh, hey. uh, so we we'll have one. lots of stuff to share. So mm -hmm. that's what I wanted to do. But <laughs> like the because I was asking my sister and I said, Yeah, Zoom is supposed to let me have a separate screen to show those, but it's not working. So <laughs> oh well. Yeah, yeah. Like, John, we still don't have your audio. <laughs> It's like we got it. We have a screen before have a, we go. He's on, but yeah. Oh boy! I sit right can there. He, he can hear us or no? If you, I John, think he can, he can hear, hear us. us. Thumbs up if you can hear us at all. No, no. Uh oh. John, if you can hear us, can you? Yeah, do us a thumbs up or something. Yeah. It's like can you? Uh oh. Oh no. No. Oh what? no. He's oh, now. I'm out. looking at him, and it. Uh oh. Yeah, I can see him, but. Okay. Yeah, I can just tell there's no microphone for him. No, oh man. Uh, I hope yeah. he can hear us. Well, um, well, that's just a reason for us to do this all over again. Exactly. <laughs> yes. yeah. Why not? Why do we have to wait a year for this? Can we just, we can we just do it again? Next, How about next Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah. When the, when the show I'm started re airing. Whenever. <laughs> when, that, when the show started re-airing back in late, you know, late nineties, you know, mm -hmm. that's how it it kind of steamrolled from that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all would get on after the show aired, and mm -hmm. we get on our computers, and I, don't, I forget, Bill, I don't know which website it was. Like, a, it was a message board, from what I remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was like this. Uh, do what? Oh yeah, remember there was a cross group on Yahoo uh, groups or or something like that. It was there. You go. Um, That's it. It was a it was a Yahoo. See, God, see how long ago this was. It was a Yahoo group. It was like a message board, and we would, and we yeah. would break down. It's like okay, <laughs> episode over. here's episode two, and we'd go into this whole dialogue, which I never had. I never definitely had that with anybody on the show. Mm -hmm. So it was like this. Okay, all of a sudden, whoa, I'm reconnecting with fans other fans that know the show that know the characters and you're just like and almost got especially near the end we all noticed it was like the it's almost getting too analytical <laughs> I, mean, it was, I mean we were getting into like sparky we noticed like one of the things i remember from the message board was how we all kind of agreed that that throughout the show sparky uh got more brave you know as the show went on you know he was timid in the beginning but then as the show went on and the lessons that, you know, and that was another cool thing about the Croft shows, a lot of that, you know, uh, with the Bugaloos in particular, that there was a, a lesson learned, you know, something <laughs> like there was one, I remember Big John right. perfectly yeah. said, you never know what you got until you lose it. And it was like the voice episode, you know, you appreciate, <laughs> appreciate what you have. Right. And, uh, but we noticed that was one, I remember that was a conversation saying Sparky got, you know, cause near the end of the series, like episode, you know, 17, 18, 19, he's beating up on Funky Rat, you know, he's got his <laughs> like, oh, That's Joy's house, you just, <laughs> <laughs> he just, I mean, it, it blows me away how mm -hmm. all of this, we, we're talking about this 50 years later Mm -hmm. yeah. And it, it is it is mind boggling, but that that should speak in volumes to how much this show is beloved by so many. Right. Yes. It's really true. You yeah. know. And it's it's amazing how well it's resonated with generation after generation. It's one thing I was maybe twelve, thirteen, I think, for the what? first episode somewhere in there and it's like after that you know i you know it, it, in america the problem is when things just disappear from the airwaves people forget about it you yeah. know i'm part of the thunderbirds fandom too and same thing there it aired back when i was a kid and disappeared and people really didn't remember it and unless you are my age and so when i started coming across people who are much younger talking about the bugaloos and i'm like well, how did you find out about it? And I'm like, oh, it was rerunning on this or that. You know, well, that's fantastic. Because it keeps, you know, it keeps the fandom fresh to have more young people going, oh, okay, yeah, I like it too, because I've seen it. 
Mm-hmm. Thelma's got something. She does. Thelma's got something <laughs> else cool. What you got, Thelma? <laughs> <Sure. laughs> so, the guy Andy, I don't know if you, maybe I've got one on you on this. It's um, uh, Amati's original Bugaloo shirt. Why? Oh. Oh. oh wow! Ooh. Wait a what? minute. For that, I never. <laughs> wow! That Put your so hands awesome. down, Sandy. Yeah, <laughs> like grabbing. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, hold on, Behave yourself, Sandy. Don't yeah. do it. Don't do it. Sandy's booking flights right now. Sandy will I know, be right? at your doorstep tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Right. 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 Plane ticket to London, please. Yes. Uh, that is fantastic. Sandy's drooling now. Look at this. Yes. <laughs> well, when, when I was speaking to Daria and I was saying that some of the things I've got two of, you know, like this beautiful press um, leaflet that went out, um, maybe we could, she could do a little competition and whoever wins could win something pretty like, well, not pretty, but you oh, know. No. Oh, wow. oh, how generous. Those are very, very rare. Yeah. Yeah. That's so amazing. And yeah, I, I, I know I part of me said, oh, you don't want to part with that. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Come on. Yeah. You spread the joy, though. You want to spread the joy. Yeah. yeah. Inside Sandy's treasure if treasure. anything, that should go to Sandy's Bugaloo's Museum. I want something like that in a museum. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> I haven't forgotten, Craig. If I pass, the albums are yours. <laughs> oh. Remember, we talk, remember, we talked about it. You said I had to leave you in my will. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's yeah. right. Oh, I can't. I don't feel so bad now. Okay, now go yeah. on. There you go. Oh. Well, I mean, you know, that's that's the beauty of it. I mean, I gained some amazing friendships with Bill and with Sandy, and now, obviously with all of you, you know? Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. all know each other for years, but I mean, this is just, this is wonderful. This is, a, nothing, is. Beats, nothing beats this, it's nothing just... beats this. This is absolutely amazing. I am loving every minute of this. Oh, I wish, you mm-hmm. know, we could, I hope we could, we could do this again, you know? It, it does, yeah, it, 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 it's amazing. Mm-hmm. And, ju- and by the way, on a, on a, a side note, Bill Ung, his jukebox is yes. wicked. You, Bill, didn't you, did you film, uh, playing the single for a friend on, on the jukebox. Did you, did you make a video of that? Uh, maybe, I don't, if, if I did, I'm not sure where that is now, but okay. I can always make another one. Could you, could you do it? So, it, yeah, uh, it's like this vintage Capitol Records vinyl playing for a friend on his jukebox. Uh, it's sick. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. Great. And it has, it's of our world is on the other side. So yeah. you get two yeah. great hits. Yeah, it's a good flip side. But it sounds amazing. It's got a really I'm, warm, I'm a fresh video. A really warm sound, sound to it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Mm-hmm. So. And Sandy is a good singer. No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think you're the only one that's ever told me that. <laughs> I did, what? Thank you. Bill, Bill, back me up. Wait, hold on. Bill, back me up on this. Yeah, We're editing those videos. Absolutely. Thank hold you. On. We're editing those videos. Didn't I say part she's had a good room. voice? No. Yes, you did. We should have had yes, a sing along while we had Caroline on, and if we could get mm-hmm. John's audio oh. back, we should have had a sing along. Ideas for next time. Exactly. Ah, mm-hmm. I got my okay. bass. I got my bass. Get... Don't, don't do it. <laughs> We're going to work on the audio <laughs> issue out for next time. And Vilma, yes. if you would join us again, you, we would be mm-hmm. so happy. <laughs> it was like everything you've contributed is absolutely fantastic. Wow. And we love your beautiful face. And it's so yeah. nice yeah. to see you. <laughs> you know? And I love the fact that, yes, we, we're all over the place, but we can all chat. So yeah. like, this is fantastic. Yeah. Like, this is one little thing. Uh-huh. Um, uh, Wayne was saying that when they were on tour, mm-hmm. um, they stopped off at, oh, I've gone and forgotten them. You gave me so many bits of paper. Uh, San Francisco, they were, well, they were in the middle of a riot. Well, the riot yes. was amazing. And they were doing um, a show there. And so as they arrived and the police were saying, no, no, you know, you can't go here. You can't, you we Oh, wow. Be-. They were saying, yeah, but we're the bugaloos and we've got to go on stage. And the mm-hmm. guys, listen, we 
with all this going on, the last thing we need is a load of (laughs) (laughs) You know what, everything that's going on that, yeah, uh, Amarty should know, really, he was the first black performer on a children's show in America. That's right. The other ones had been a cartoon the year before. Uh, on the Hardy Boy series, there was a black character. And I mean, because you never had anything like that in America, no. where there was a black children's show where, I mean, there was a children's show with a black person <laughs> on par. Mm-hmm. There was always, you know, they reran a lot of those old shorts from the 30s or 40s, and they were pretty awful. Oh. But he was really the first. And mm-hmm. so he needs to pet himself on what? the back, you know. Absolutely. He broke that in America. Yeah. You know? Because I've sent you, and he's been Pipkins with a, a really scruffy looking hair called Hartley the Hair. Uh-huh. And that, he was the first black children's presenter in London, in England. See? He's made a number of firsts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he made history. So. Of the Radio Times, mm-hmm. which is the biggest television paper here. It was years ago. Everybody bought it for all their television programs and everything. Really? Well, it was in the first diverse uh, soap called mm-hmm. Empire Road, which now is a real empire is not the sort of word you can use anymore. So, right. it's been a bit of a trailblazer. Mm-hmm. And so, then, yeah. It's like, uh, we're very proud of him. And yeah, th- it's an amazing feat. But yeah, he made history on several counts. So, you know, I just, you know, I always hoped he was aware of that. And, you know, we ve- we're very proud of him. He's fantastic. So yes, yes, we are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 So. Do you guys want to wrap it up? Or how are you feeling? I, 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 I get love overwhelmed. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I wish I could say I got to get going. Morning. Unfortunately, I got to get over to my family's house. Actually, my mom's doing well, but she wanted me to. She said, "How's the Bugaloo's teleconference going?" I said, "It's going great." <laughs> it's like <laughs> really? it's a ball. I said, <laughs> Yay. Um, but I got to go, unfortunately. But I love you guys love very you much. It's great to see you all. Um, mm-hmm. it's, and it's, I hope we we can do this again. You know, mm-hmm. very, very soon and. Don't be strangers, we right? We figured out we can do yeah. this once. We can definitely do it again. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so we will work on an occasion. It's really great to be in touch with all of you, you mm-hmm. know, and our, especially our Vilma, who's given us so much for our mm-hmm. groups. We just can't thank you enough for everything. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Vilma. We want yeah. you the next thank time. You. Thank you, Vilma. Put, his, you know. put your arms around him. Tell him all the fans adore him. Mm-hmm. So it's like... Yeah. No. I will. I will see you guys later. But I'm gonna. I'm okay, gonna log great. off. But I, be right. good to yourselves. Right. Listen. Thank God you. bless you, Vilma. Please tell Wayne we 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 love him and thank you guys everybody for everything. We'll see you soon. Okay. All right. You guys thank be safe. You, Absolutely. Have a good one. God bless you. See you later. Uh, Take care. Bye bye. Uh, all right, folks. Okay. I guess we're gonna wrap this up. But I. I want to thank you again for being here with us this morning. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. It's recording this, so I have to have, I don't know if I have a look at it or what, but I'll try to make this available as soon as possible so that anybody else who's tuning in later wants to see it, you know, they'll be able to within a few minutes, I suppose. But, okay. you know, again, thank you so much for being thank here. You, you know, thank we you. really appreciate all you contribute to this fandom. And Vilma, you know we adore you. I just really appreciate that I had the chance to show some of the appreciation that Amati has. He does love, and he did love being in the Bugaloos. And I'm just really grateful and very proud. And I just love that I've been accepted into this family. And uh, I just want to say thank you before I start crying, but I spend. (laughs) <laughs> Thank you, dear. Like Marty said, there wouldn't have been a show without them. Right. Mm-hmm. And we appreciate you. And please also thank Corrine for everything that she's contributed. You know, it's fantastic that she's held on to so much. And we can't thank her enough for everything she's done. 
We really appreciate all of this. So I'm making it available for everybody else to see. That's lovely. That's lovely. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Thank you. And we will plan this again, and we'll get all the messages around so everybody will know when to do. But thank you. Uh, Vilma, you have a wonderful evening. Thanks for being here with us. And the rest of you have a great Saturday. You too. Bye. 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 Bye.